All right, there's like Chinese balloons flying all over the place, so I don't know how much more time we're going to have to hit one of the most long and patience testing and consistency checking condomatrix that has ever plagued our current days. That is a little trip down to my 112th favorite country, England, into a little town called Tunbridge Wells. We're going to go all around. All around Tumber Twelves. That is the Kadama trick that we're going to be going for today. And I do have a handful of tips that I've been trying to use to help myself, like practice uh, for for this moment where we are right now, <laughs> to finally be able to hit the trick. But it's going to be a bit more of a, a raw style. So if you're like an iPad kid, if you're in a restaurant in a stroller, or like your mom's on the phone right now, this may not be <laughs> the spot for you. But if you've got something to do yourself, something to pick up, put down on the side and uh, watch this in the background might be your best bet. But let me give you a handful of tips also to learn to practice around Tunbridge Wells in a way that hopefully you'll be able to hit it yourself. Isn't that perfect? Tips on how to do something from someone who's never done it. Uh, it's free. I don't know. You can't complain. So I'll put in like the description or something probably the entire trick so you can kind of follow along. But it's in like chunks like a base cup section, small cup section, da 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 which you'll see. But uh, I'm going to start going through it first just in the way that I typically practice it and I'll tell you why that seems to be kind of helping me. So if we're going through that list here starting out, okay, start on spike and start going through sections, stop, and spike, and yeah, through the base cup part, small cup, base cup, okay, so we missed the base cup or yeah the base cup back to the small cup is the part of the trick that we missed now if you were practicing to try to hit around tumbridge wells you're like oh i just want to hit this trick and that's it then you would start back at the beginning go through the big big cup stuff again and you know go on your merry way see how far you can make it but the way i've been practicing is that wherever i lose the trick in this case it was base cup back to small cup wherever i fall off and miss i restart putting the tomo just back in that spot and continue on to get through the whole trick. Now, the reason for that is because at first, I would just always start at the beginning. And then I realized that my my penguin chicken wing spikes, which this is like gotta be the worst part of Kendama right here, the penguin grip. <laughs> my penguin action was very, very poor. And it's because half the time I would practice around Tunbridge Wells, I would keep restarting at the big cup and then I never even make it to that part. So I didn't get to practice it. So the way I do it now, I missed base cup back to small cup. So I'm just going to start right from where I left off. Back to small cup. Now we're at penguin, small cup, spike, and the earth turn in between. And then keep going from there. Obviously, if you eventually get through all of it, you haven't quite hit the trick yet. But at least you've practiced everything and you're getting more conditioned to hit the trick at some point. Hopefully our point is today. So I might go through the, whoa, almost went to the wrong cup there. Go through all the penguins, which is the most difficult part for me for sure. Oh. But it helps to get those big deep squats on the, the penguins especially. I mean, every trick basically benefits from knees, especially the penguin though. What part was I at? I think I missed penguin. Did I miss penguin to spike? Oh, that's another thing. So I miss penguin to spike. Probably that's like the lowest percentage part of this entire sequence that I miss. And there's like a handful of them throughout. So going from penguin back to spike is pretty tough. The way that I make sure to like uh, get at least a bit of practice out of it is like, okay, maybe I'll come here, show you, get down on my knees for you. Okay, um, so say I, I'm going through, I'm going all around England, oh, I might, I bit cringy, okay, oh. I'm at the penguin part, and the hole that we need to spike is facing me. So say that's where the hole's lined up, and now, well, I'm going to try to spike it, I miss. When I go to replace it, I want to practice that exact same hole facing placement, because if I just, say I put the hole down here, and then I was to spike, I'm not practicing the parts that are screwing me up, right? I'm living in this world where, oh, maybe if I get lucky, it'll land. No, put it put it where you failed. Practice the little components that have proven to be difficult for you 
and uh, that might help you in the long run, practicing the little things. So always replace the bevel pointing the same way that it made you fail. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So we missed Penguin back to Spike. Shooting hit. And now to wrap up our practice session, we just have those two last sections left. So that's da -da -da. and then Spike. Missed base cup to Spike there. So go back to that. Oh, no earth turn. Penguin to Spike. And we missed the earth turn. So we restart from there. And now it's the earth turn section. Missed spike to base cup, so we'll do spike to base cup. Penguin, earth turn. So that, we just went through the entire sequence. I think we missed about four times. And uh, with that, I think it's time to just try to go ugh, all the way through, all the way around Tumbridge Wells. Let's hope this goes well. <sighs> Official attempt, numero uno. <laughs> I said official attempt so that we can pretend I didn't do like hundreds of attempts already. Oh, where am I going? Here's another issue. All right, let me, let me get another couple attempts in and then I'll give you another scoop. Another little twinkle of information. But I need to actually pay attention. I think I might have even just did something wrong right there. Yeah, here's my point. You want to make sure when you're practicing this trick, you do not rely on muscle memory because there's such a large range of variety within the sequence that if you rely on muscle memory, you're going to go to the wrong spot and it's going to be too late by the time you notice. So like. I'm like, oh, big cup, small cup, big cup, base cup. And then my muscle memory takes over and it just goes to the wrong spot. By the time I realize we are, ow, we are pooched. So you want to maintain focus through that list the entire time without laps. Big cup section. So we go big cup, small cup, big cup, base cup, big cup, penguin, big cup, spike. And then just keep in mind what you're going through. You can't let muscle memory take over or your muscles will fail you. Don't forget it. But don't fail your muscles, because like I've been doing all these squats now, trying to do these penguin spikes, and my gluteus is maximized for sure. So maybe maybe like a good squat routine is good prep for the around tumbers wells as well. Oh, see, stopped thinking there. from base to base. Sometimes start is the hardest part. Oh, I forgot where I was going. This is like the worst possible format to need to be able to use your brain in. Oh boy. I did it again. <sighs> Missing the earth turn is tough. String management is another problem. Like if you're, I mean, there, there's this one thing that kind of helps, but not really. Sometimes you kind of just have to get lucky with your string. But one thing I try to do is, as I undo some knots here, yeah, we're good. If you're like holding your Ken straight up and down and you're doing all the cup, 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 then your string is gonna start to weasel itself around. 
and it's going to get caught up and then you're going to go to like do a base cup and it's going to like yoink and it's going to go off and you're going to be sad. So what I try to do is like with even just a little bit of an angle towards like the inside of my body, if I'm holding it like this and then I'm doing my cup, 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 it kind of keeps that string out of the way. It helps a bit. I don't know, still kind of playing with how much that method actually works, but anything you can do to keep the string out of your face, it'll help you in the long run for sure. Uh, just like that, just grab my finger. It took me a while to get used to really shooting the penguin straight up and down. I used to do this a lot where I would like see how much of an angle that is and there's like no way it's gonna get caught. Really practice getting that nice and straight. See that? Boom, straight. You'll have no issues. Then lots of knees. It's your only hope. It's your only hope. Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. And we got a knot. Look what you've done. Oh, bad placement. I gotta channel my inner moist critical. It was getting toasty in here. Make sure we don't scare any kids or face any charges All right here. Ooh, I feel better already. This feels good. Okay, around Tunbridge Wells. Oh, okay. Around Tunbridge Wells. First try. Which way do the cups go? String. I swear I'm, I'm capable. Missing spikes, we're like miss we're getting the the hard parts okay and missing the easy ones. Something's going on. It's not that I just suck, I swear. Something in the air. Balloons! It's the balloons. It's Chinese balloons. Or whoever's balloons they are. I'm missing earth turns. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like usually I practice in a different location, so like the background's throwing me off. Or maybe I'm just making like the most generic, brutal excuses. But let me let me make sure my earth turns are on point. Isolate the poor variables. You're like a true scientist. Okay, it seems okay. We haven't made it far at all. I think the last video we made it to halfway exactly, which I've done more than that, like just pooping around myself, but I don't know, head in the game.
No, that was <laughs> that was the farthest we've made it. See, head in the game, Troy Bolton. He was right. We got four of the six sections. We just missed a uh, big cup. It was gonna go to Spike and then small cup Spike. Okay, we can crank this out today, hopefully, before today turns into tomorrow. <sighs> also, I find like if I just sit and crank out a trick, like super focused, I start to get worse at it. So kind of you know, flutter about and just exist for a little bit outside of staring at your kendama, and that might kind of reset your focus, which uh, I need. See? Proof is in the pudding. The pudding. Oh, like I mentioned, any penguin to spike is like my big fail spot, my big weak spot. Which is why I try to work on those in the off season, but now it's game time. We gotta go through everything. in a weird spot. Sometimes there are a lot of points where the bevel or the hole is facing just a strange direction and it's hard to make that last little adjustment to get it to spike. These are all things that you can practice in isolation before you even get to this point of trying to do the whole shebanger. Oh, again. I want to make sure my Phone's not gonna cut at like the perfect moment. There's our penguin spike. Oh, that was a sketchy earth turn. Now we're back where we failed the last time. Spike. Spike. Penguin. No, the penguin to spike. You gotta set yourself up on the dismount or else you're, you're born to fail. You can't just go, you can't go from spike, just go to penguin and then hope that your bevel's in a good spot for you. You kind of got to work the spin off the spike to set it up somewhere that makes it easier for you, which I did not do. Oh, keep learning. We are learning. Learning rules and burning fuel. Ain't that right, brother? Sorry. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Back in the zone. Okay. Okay, that did not work. I think I just went the wrong way there. Oh, you're looking for directions, mate. Ben is that way. Oh, 
Oh, I see. I was getting a little lazy. I was falling back into my poor habits of letting my penguins be kind of slanty. Oh, see that? It just my phone just filled up with storage. Luckily, I missed, and then I looked and saw the pop up. But I gotta do something about that. Maybe like. Google Google Drive hit me up <laughs> with some some free GBs. Or gotta get a new phone too. I've been thinking about that. Maybe that would make uh, video and audio quality and such a bunch better. What are we doing here? See, I got distracted. My excuses always change. Oh, first you gotta distract yourself. Then I get distracted. Oh, you gotta stay focused. No excuses. Oh man, slippery, slippery spike. Whoa, <laughs> that was weird. She went a little bit sideways. Should probably stop doing that. Oh, it's just unlucky. Unlucky. Sketchy. Okay, let's take her home. Return, final stretch. That was the last move. On the last move, you can't, you can't write a better script. Oh, that was the penguin spike. Penguin, over to the spike. If we landed that, we would have just needed the earth turn, which I guess we missed anyway. Okay, <sighs> that was what uh, we call the climax. And now we must finish. That makes sense in some world. Okay, come on. We were right there. We were knock, knock, knocking on Harry Potter's door right there. He was from England, right? I really don't know. I know more about Lego Harry Potter than I do about real Harry Potter. But I hear the actor that played him is pretty rad. Daniel, rad. Cliff. Okay, we got a little confident there, a little bit too much speed. I think if you just take this slow, I mean, it is, this is more of a mental game than a physical game. But I will say when I was mostly through the trick there, my legs were like screaming a bit. Oh, that was, so I was 55 of 57 moves. Okay, that makes it more sad. Where am I going? Rocking around the Christmas tree right there. 
That was ugly since it started wobbling. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably loud. Oh, I'm, what am I doing? actor that doesn't beat their spouse and DM little girls on Instagram. Ooh wee. I'm your guy. Ooh wee. Okay, pure focus. No more funny jokes or <laughs> no more jokes, <laughs> depending on uh, your sense of humor, I guess. Mine's pretty piss poor. But this is business hour now. Hopefully it's business 10 minutes, not business hour. You know, some people tie a knot in their string on purpose, right above the, above the tama, so that the string can't like poke through and make the little rat tail thing. Do you do that? Like, is that is that allowed? If you're in competition or something, can you tie a knot to keep the little dingly bit in? You know what I mean, right? Oh my god, I can't undo this knot. It's loose. Looks like a pretzel. We're right there. Annie Ann, come save me. It's the pretzel lady. Oh yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like this thing? People like tie a knot so that the the bead and stuff can't come up. I don't know if that's allowed. I've never done it because I feel it's so wrong to tie a knot in a string that I don't want knots in. turn dude ah oh, my legs the lactic acid is lactating it's doing something in there string oh no i'm degrading The one. I know this is the one. As a matter of fact, I'm not even hoping. I know. I'll just let it let it marinate a little bit. Oh, I'm ready to ready to hit it on this attempt right here. I was just kidding. This, this is the one. Are we, are we got space? We got a little space. Okay.
Mamma mia, mamma mia. The spike from the penguin every time. Just gotta really take my time on those ones, I think. And that didn't work. Taking my time did not work. <sighs> pants are falling down. Pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with my Tama knot on the spike where it's supposed to be. Oh, I forgot where to go. Oh my God. Oh, happy, happy, happy. Du, 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 du. Hot dog. Oh, hopefully it's at least a Costco hot dog. Only a dollar fifty. Shoulder is feeling it. My knees are feeling it. Oh, I don't want to quit now. I do not want to quit now. What am I doing? I forget what I'm doing. I'm so lost in space. On my Chinese balloons.
I've not even gotten close since that. The one attempt was like perfect. I haven't even gotten close. Here's Lewis. We got business to do, buddy. We got business to do. My hand is like cramping in pain. And I think I'm only getting worse. I'll give it a couple more shots and then we can be sad together. Oh, it was like literally the last step again. Dude, this is not meant to be. Not today, at least.
This is genuinely my last attempt. Um, just the way it goes. <laughs> this is genuinely my last attempt. I just want to do it. I don't even know where I am. We'll be back. It is what it is.